So let me take you through the stages of making a model of Buckminster Fullerene. So I've got a beautiful model here, a molecular model of uh, C60. You can see the little black atoms that represent the real atoms in the molecule. And you can see there's also pentagon and hexagon rings uh, made by bringing the straws together and plugging this whole thing together. So let me take you through the stages of that. So the C60 molecule, it's got 60 atoms, of course. These are the black atoms. There's 12 pentagons and there's 20 hexagon rings. Now, it's not obvious, but actually, if you study this structure, you'll see that there's no atoms, there's no black atoms that aren't in a pentagon. So there's 60 atoms in the whole structure. There's five atoms in each pentagon. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. So there's actually 12 pentagons. So in some ways, the secret to making the model of C60 is actually just to make 12 pentagons, say, out of the red straws, and then simply join them up with a different color, and the ball will form in front of your eyes. So let me go through those steps in the slides behind us. So just to recap, we've got the C60 molecule. It's got 60 atoms, 12 pentagons, 20 hexagons. Don't have to worry about the hexagons at all. Uh, 60 divided by 5 is 12, so there's 12 pentagons in this beautiful structure. So we're going to get a, a pack of bits and pieces, the molecular model to make it up. Uh, at the end of this uh, video, you'll see a URL, and you can look up where you can get these things from. Uh, take all the bits together, and the first thing to do is to make 12 pentagons. So we take one of the coloured straws here, say in red, and we join them up. It wants to form a hexagon, so we have to sort of, when we put the fifth atom in, we have to sort of bend the thing round to form a pentagon. And then basically we make a pile of 12 pentagons, and then we've used up all the atoms. Remember, 12 times 5 is 60, so we don't need any of the other black atoms in the kit. Then we use another colour, and we simply join up the 12 pentagons that we've got. So first of all, we have one in the centre, say, and we put five uh, white straws around it to join up five more pentagons. You can see it's flat at the moment. But as you start uh, joining these up around uh, with the extra straws, you see that it rises up off the floor and starts to curve. So that's half a buckyball. Uh, we make another half, and then we simply join these together with the white straws. And as we zip the whole thing up, you'll see that you form uh, a round, beautiful molecule or molecular model of C60 in front of your eyes. So C60, if you think about it, is just composed of pentagons joined up with white straws. It's not true for the different other size uh, cages, like C70 and C82 and all that sort of thing. But for C60, it's got this beautiful symmetry about it. So um, if we go back to the model, a, a two centimetre straw will sort of create a buckyball of about 20 centimetres in diameter. So what will happen if I make the straws now about a foot, about 30 centimetres, and obviously the whole thing's going to be much bigger. And it's quite fun to make one of these. I've got here this one I made in the garden earlier, and I'm in the middle of this beautiful buckyball. This is with foot-long um, edges, and you can see they're quite fun to make these giant structures based on the same principle. For any more information, please see my website.